drama makeup mama here. If this is your first time watching, thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you will stay. Um, if you are one of my subscribers already, thank you so much for watching. Um, today we are going to do the Zodiac Palette Love Signs, which is the newer version of the Zodiac Palette that came out from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to do a first impressions. I will do two different eye looks, one on each eye, so you can see the versatility of the palette. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do, one, okay, so one, housekeeping, love the housekeeping. So I am doing my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. There is detailed instructions that will be down in the description box about how to apply or how to enter for that. Um, tomorrow I will be doing a live. Um, I will go over all the products that are in the giveaway so far when I do that. Um, my, I also got all my dollar makeup in, so I will be filming... Hopefully Thursday. I might be filming every day this week because um, I have two other videos. I have um, the most bought products on Amazon. I'm going to do a full face of those. And I also have um, a full face full of makeup that is just a dollar. So exciting things to come. Woo -woo. I like it when I have a plan and a schedule because sometimes I run out of ideas and I'm like, I don't know what to do. So today, oh, first impressions as well. Tonight I did use the Farsali Unicorn Essence which is a skin enhancing antioxidant serum. Um, it's, you're supposed to apply it to your clean face before moisturizer. So I did this instead of my um, Dr. Denise um, Hydra Shield Ultra Moisturizing Face Serum. And guys, my face looks so much better tonight than it did last night. And I don't know, I'm, you know, I bought the little travel size one of these because that's one of the things I do. Like, I've heard a lot of hype about this and I was like, let me try it. Um, first of all, it smells so good. Like, not that smell is important, but it doesn't smell like chemically or anything. It just smells really good. And it's like pink and kind of sparkly when you go put it on. But my face does not feel tight. It does not feel dry. So I'm super excited about the serum. So now I'm going to get my lovely assistant, also known as my husband, to come and push the camera in. First of all, let's, let's, okay, before we do that. Cart horse, cart horse. This is what the Zodiac Love Signs palette is. It is 24 eyeshadows and a highlighter. Embrace an enchanted look that's a match made in the stars with our Zodiac Love Signs. 25 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette, a celestial spectrum of sun-kissed hues and cool cosmic shades, featuring 12 buttery mattes, 12 baked shimmers, which I love that there's 12 mattes and 12 shimmers, and a luminous baked highlighter. These rich, vivid shades apply effortlessly to light up your feature with a flush of radiant color. Yes. So let's look at it. It's in one of these things where you gotta, like the sleeves. I'm like collecting empty, because I've got like my pizza box and my James Charles box and now this Zodiac box. All right, so this is what it looks like on the inside, which is kind of, it just doesn't have the colors. And then when you open it up, does have a plastic shield on it and then has a good size mirror and then those are the colors so now I'm going to have my lovely assistant come and pull the camera in real close and I'm gonna swatch on my arm all 25 colors so that you can see what they look like as swatches and then we will do an eye look so I need my trusty assistant okay now that we have zoomed in on my lovely arm I'm going to start just like a clock and go all the way around. Now these uh, shimmer colors are baked shadows. The thing about baked shadows is they tend to not be as vivid unless you wet them. But we're going to see how they swatch anyway. So I'm going to do the mattes first. So this is the Sagittarius matte, which is black. Mm, I mean, yeah. And then Sagittarius, the baked shimmer is kind of a it's a, like a it's mm, it's like a really dark gray with purple sparkles in it that's the best way i can describe it all right so the next one is scorpio so this is what would be like my all over eyeshadow color which is just an ivory and then the pink baked one looks like that Ooh, that's pretty just a really frosty light pink I'd say it was like a ballerina pink kind of color 
Next, we have Libra, which Libra is, matte is this dark brown, and it's baked shimmer is almost like a, it's like a pewter color. Please excuse my children, they're heathens. Then Virgo, which is what I am, is a kind of a rust colored orange. Oh, that's a really good payout. Rust colored orange matte. And then corresponding shimmer. Ooh, that's really pretty. Corresponding shimmers, that was Virgo. Sorry, I'm cleaning my fingers off, y'all. Mm -mm. Leo is kind of an ochre color, like a yellowy brown. And then its corresponding color is a kind of a bronze. Ooh. And then we have Cancer, which is, I don't think this yellow is very pretty. Let's see what it looks like on the skin. I mean, it's yellow, but the shimmer is be oh, that's gorgeous. That is a gorgeous gold though. So not too fond of the matte in Cancer, but the shimmer is, I mean, and then my fingers are not wet, so this is dry swatches. All right, so Gemini is like a burgundy color. Well, it swatches more of a maroon color. And then it's baked shadow. It looks fuchsia, let's see. Mm, kind of like a magenta. That's pretty too. And then Taurus is a dark brown. We'll run out of arm soon. Ooh, it's a little patchy. And then Taurus's baked color is kind of a, ooh, that's like a true red shimmer. It's very pretty. Okay, I have four more colors, so let me, I'm just gonna do that, well, I don't wanna do that. I'll just do it on my side, it's fine. We can make it work. All right, so Aries. Aries is, looks like it's gonna be pink. It might be red though. Mm, that's pink. I wonder why Aries is pink. You would think it would be more of aggressive color, but, and oh, that's pretty. That is, it's really similar to this one, but it's a little bit more warmer tone. Like this is a silver shift and this is more of like a kind of champagne pink. All right, so for the last three, I'm gonna do them on the side. Excuse my mosquito bite. It's Mississippi, the weather can't decide what it wants to be, so we have mosquitoes again. All right, Pisces is also a brown. I would say that this would be a good like color to darken up like the mustardy colors. So that's the dark brown, and then its corresponding shimmer is, ooh, what is that? That's kind of a pewter color too. I'm not sure that those two go together, but that's a really pretty shimmer. It's a good color payoff. All right, now Aquarius, Aquarius. Ooh, girl, she's pig, ooh. Ooh, she's real pigmented, holy crud. I did not, okay, well, that, that happened. So guys, if you get this, Aquarius is very pigmented. Let's see what the shimmer does. See, the shimmer's like, eh. Okay, so obviously the matte is the star of the show on that one. Because actually, that color's not even that pretty. I don't know. All right, so finally, we have Capricorn, which is a bright blue. And it is bright blue. And its shimmer is kind of a frosty, silvery blue. So that is all of the colors. Oh, and then the highlight. Hold on. I'll do it with my thumb. That's the highlight, which is kind of a champagne, light gold highlight shimmer. So those are all the colors. Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, and Capricorn. So I'm gonna clean my arm off and prime my eyes and we will be right back. Okay, we're back. Through the power of makeup technology, I have laid down my base and I used the color, the matte Scorpio color, 
to put as my all over color. One side and one little jujabber and the other side another jujabber. I'm using the word jujabber. I don't know why. It's just what is in my head right now. So I'm going to go in with Leo, which is that kind of ochre color. Ochre? No. <laughs> you guys know that was funny. And it is pretty orange on. And I'm just using my windshield wiper motion. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Going up about halfway to my eyebrow and I'm gonna dip in it again and just kind of saturate that color a little bit more um, you always want to go and make sure you get in your crease like right here in the inner corner of your eye because a lot of times that's where your blending ends up looking kind of cray cray or at least in my situation that's where my blending looks cray cray so all right so we have ochre no, we have Leo. We have Leo down. And I'm going to darken up my transition just a tad. And I'm going to go into Virgo, which is a color right next to it. And kind of in that same family. It's just a little darker. And when you're darkening your transition, you want to make sure, like, literally you can put your eyebrow, your brush in between your occipital bone and your eyeball. And then just work it both ways. Back and forth, like the windshield whopper. Whopper? The windshield whopper. Only you're just going closer in. And then after you've kind of got that line established, you're going to blend up. So it transitions, ha ha, transition into that other color. And you see all that did was just add a little bit of depth, a little bit of dimension to that. Now I need it all over my eyeball color. And I think since we're doing this kind of color, I'm going to go in with, hmm, what color do I want to use, guys? Ooh, I think I'm going to be special and go into this Capricorn, which is that baby blue. Now, I'm going to see how this does on a dry brush. I might end up having to wet my brush, but, ooh, no. She's got color. She's got color. She's got fire. Okay. Ooh, so that's the sky blue all over my eye from Capricorn. So that is the the frosted one, the baked shadow all over my eye. And I did use a padding motion. Um, like I've said before, if you're using something that's very shimmery or has a lot of metallic or a foil or anything like that, you always kind of want to first until you know how it performs you want to use padding motions because the padding motions will give you um the most color payout without it looking too much all right so now i don't even know i mean i kind of like it just like that but i am going to go back with a matte do i want to do another matte yes i do want to do another matte i'm going to go in with gemini and that warmer tone brown and do my little V, my little V. And all that's doing, guys, is just adding that little bit of dimension, kind of creating a larger illusion to my eye by creating shadow. And I am gonna go under my eye without, just not without, I'm not touching my brush again to the color, just with any excess, I'm just rubbing it off under my eye. So that's what that looks like. I really like this. I think it's very pretty. Um, and then for my inner corner, I should have used the brush that I just used. Bag nabbit. We'll use this brush. All right, for my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the highlighter, which is in the middle. And I'm just gonna get a little bit on the brush. And I'm gonna go right in the corner of my eye. And just kind of go up. Blend it a little bit into that blue and then blend it down along my lash line. That's my child. I like it. What do you guys think? Okay, I really don't think that's much more than you would need to do. 
this is typical. Okay, anyway, so to create this eye look, I used the matte in Leo for my transit. Well, first of all, I used the all over color in Scorpio for my base color. And then I went in with Leo as my transition and went into Virgo to darken my transition up. And then I used the bait shadow from Capricorn all over my eye. And then I went in with Gemini and just did the V. And then I used the highlighter in the middle to kind of give me a little bit more punch. So as far as eyeliner, I'm gonna go with, um, let's, let's pick the blue up. So I'm gonna go with, oh my goodness, my child. Turquoise. We're just gonna emphasize that blue, and this is an Ofra eye pencil. All right, so I went in with the turquoise as a liner. I made it a little bit thicker on the end, and then just kind of tight line my eyes, just so that that blue kind of pops. And then I'm just gonna go right on my lash line on the bottom, and just kind of go right in the corner. And my son is still crying, I know, I'm sorry. There we go. Let me put a little mascara on that side. I should try a new mascara, shouldn't I? I should, but I don't have any with me. Oh my gosh, like I have all this new stuff to try and I don't have any of it out because that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara on. I'm using the huge like I do. And I will be right back. All right, so end result. I really like this. I don't know what I would call this. Um. It's just a mixture of some really warm kind of ochre, orange, yellow colors and and seafoam blue kind of. And then I used um, Ofra's, where is it now? It's gone now. Ofra's eyeliner, just their regular eyeliner and turquoise. I used it um, a little thicker on the end and then just tight lined my eye with it. Ooh, I got mascara in my eye. And then um, I just went in the corner on the lower lashes. And I think that's really pretty. And it does have some color, but it's still kind of natural. So now let's do the other eye. I'll just leave this here. Okay, so we wanna go somewhere completely different with this eye. So I'm going to start with pink. Starting with pink. Starting with pink. I'm gonna go into Aries, which is is pink is pink and I did tap my brush because like I said until you know how pigmented something is the best course of action is to tap your brush so that actually has pretty good pigmentation but I do want a little bit more and tapping your brush too also prevents fallout so because when you first, the fallout happens when you first put the eyebrow, excuse me, the eye brush to your eyeball. That's when fallout happens. All right, so we've got this pink on. Pink. Now, from pink, we're gonna deepen my crease up a little because I'm not just a one. Now, you, this could be it for your transition. You could just use this. And on the other side, you could have just used the one orange or yellow orangey color. But I'm just not that simple of a girl. Like, I like to be more complicated. But what's, I'm actually gonna use that dark color that I used in the corner of my eye that is the Gemini's Matte to darken up this. So I'm just using a little tiny bit of it right along my eyeball. Right along my eyeball. Not getting crazy. I don't want it to be too dark. I'm smoking this out one a little bit more. I just want, I want the dimension and the shadow, but I don't necessarily want the pink to turn into brown. So as you can tell, I just put a little tiny bit on. Now for my all over color, what shall we do? What shall we do? Well, I have pink. So I'm gonna go into Gemini, no, nope, Virgo. And it's that kind of creamsicle orange color. Oh, that's pretty. 
I'm just gonna put this on the inside of my eyeball, the inner corner. Cause I kinda wanna do like a gradient eye on this one. That is very pigmented for a baked shadow. So I wanna do a gradient. So I started with Virgo and now I'm gonna go to Aries, which is um, Aries baked shadow, which is a pink, frosted pink with a little bit of the gold undertones. And I'm just gonna put that right on the end middle of my eyeball. That one is not as pigmented. And then for my outer part that I'm gonna pull in, I'm going in with Gemini, which is that more magenta color. And I'm just starting at my out and going in. And I'm gonna have to tap one on there. See? Just go Gemini, tap that on a little bit more. So this is more of a warm, which is weird because this has a warm transition, but this actually is a warmer eye. Um, I'm actually gonna go back in with a paddle brush on Scorpio, which is that pink that really, fr I was using Aries, but it didn't show up that well. So I'm gonna go in back in with Scorpio and literally just, I'm kind of creating a halo eye a little bit. And I want that light right on the center of my eyeball. So I'm just making really short tapping motions just to kind of, yeah, give it a little bit more pizzazz. And I'm gonna go back with that same, the highlighter color in my inner corner. Now with this eye, I do wanna emphasize the pink. Do you like how I say pink? Um, so I'm going to go in with Gemini again on kind of, it's, it's not really an eyebrow brush. It's just a flat tipped eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to go right on my lash line. Ooh, girl. Now it's pigmented when you do that. Just to kind of spice things up a little bit. And now that I know that, that it does that, I'm going to go back in on top and pack a little bit more. I'm almost using this like a liner. Kind of like a liner. Okay. I think that's pretty. What you think? Two completely different eye looks. Let's go, just cause you know, I can't stop playing. Let's go back into Virgo, which was that creamsicle color. And I'm gonna do that on the inside lower corner. Like that. Ta-da! So for this one, I'm not gonna use a turquoise liner. I'm gonna use a black liner. Or a faux black, yes. I'm gonna use a faux black. This is Obsidian by NYX, it's one of their faux blacks. Obsidian is kind of a, it's a really dark gray, basically. But it looks kind of, it looks black. But being gray instead of black gives you that little extra bit of dimension. I had to sharpen my pencil, sorry. Okay. So I'm gonna just literally tight one. I'm not gonna try to go all up in my lashes. I mean, all up in my eye. I'm just tight lining right in my eyelash line. I'm gonna finish doing that, pop some mascara on, and I will be right back. Two different eye looks, dun dun dun. Okay, so for this eye, I did use, I put Aries, the matte Aries color, in my crease, and then I used the matte Gemini color just on the top of my eyeball kind of to give it a little bit more dimension. And then I did a kind of gradient eye. So I put Virgo on the inside, and then I took Gemini from the outside and kind of met in the middle. And then I put Scorpio on the middle just to kind of lighten it up and give it some dimension. And then I went back with Aries a little bit under my eye and also used it kind of a little bit as liner. Um, and then I used the NYX Faux Black Obsidian Pencil to tight line my eye. I did not do anything more than that other than 
just right in my lash line and right in my bottom lash line. So there you go, two completely different looks. Same palette. I think you could get a lot of different looks out of this palette. I really am impressed with it. Um, BH Cosmetics never ceases to amaze me. They, you know, they're definitely not drugstore. That palette was $24, so it's a little more expensive than drugstore, but I mean, some of their quality is just as good as the $42, $45, $50 palette. So I'm gonna give this one an A plus. I'm gonna keep playing with it. I really like it. Um, I hope you guys will join me for my live tomorrow. It is at 7 p.m. Central Time, and I'm going to do makeup on my husband. Um, like I said earlier in my live, I know that other people have already done it. Um, when you guys decided that's what you wanted me to do on Saturday, I didn't know that everybody was gonna do it, but it's okay, because I'm, I'm gonna do a different, I'll do something different, and it'll be different. And that's it, so everybody just take a deep breath. Let it out and be still.